Today, I'm gonna to tell you why I refuse to use an iPad for electronic music. Freebeat. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day, so if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, let's get started. So, as you can see, today we are not at the desk. Today, we are in my living room at the uh, bar, and uh, I've got an iPad in front of me. So this is Lady Freebeat's iPad, and uh, I wanted to address something that is starting to come up more and more on the channel uh, as the channel continues to grow. Uh, more and more people are asking why I don't use an iPad or telling me that I should use an iPad or, you know, telling me uh, how much I'm going to love making music on an iPad. And as you can see here, I do indeed have an iPad available to me at home. Um, but uh, any longtime viewers of the channel will know that it rarely makes an appearance on the channel. Um, if it does, it's really only for the OPZ app. And today I kind of want to address the reason behind that. Um, it's pretty simple. Making music on an iPad does not inspire me. And if I am not inspired by a piece of equipment, I don't use it. Uh, it's really that simple. I don't exactly know why it doesn't inspire me. All I know is that uh, I just really can't get into it, and I've tried. Um, my best friend, Oliver, you guys know Oliver from the live shows. He uh, actually is a middle school music teacher, and he has an intro to electronic music class that he teaches that's like primarily garage band focused. And uh, I've spent a lot of time with him too. I've basically sat through that middle school level class for him, and I know it's probably pretty low level, um, but it's just not something that inspires me. I, it's just not something I can get behind. I totally understand the power uh, behind being able to use an iPad for everything. Uh, but again, I just can't get behind the workflow. I'm sure it has something to do with the fact that I don't necessarily want to make music on the same device that I play like, I don't know, Angry Birds on? I don't really play Angry Birds, that was like 10 years ago, but still. I'm sure it has something to do with the fact that it's all a touchscreen, which notoriously I do not like touchscreens that much. Uh, the MPC-1 is about as far as I'll go uh, when it comes to working with a touchscreen. It also is very similar to using a traditional DAW, which I do not like using a mouse and keyboard uh, to make music either, um, and by that extension a computer. Uh, again, it's just not something that I find inspiring, uh, and I, I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. Just like I don't think that there's anything wrong with using an iPad for music creation. I recognize that there are some powerhouse producers out there that exclusively use an iPad uh, for their production. And more power to you. If this is what gets you going, then go for it. I'm not going to stop you. In fact, I will promote you using this and I will, uh, in fact, I will say that you probably should be using an iPad if that's what inspires you. Uh, but it just isn't it for me. And I know this video is probably going to be flooded with people trying to change my mind. Uh, but at this point, my mind is definitely made up. And yeah, I, I know about uh, MIDI controllers for iOS and, you know, the plethora of synth apps available. I actually, as you can see, do have some synthesizer apps here. go. Um, but again, using a touchscreen just does not appeal to me in the slightest. And uh, even even on something like this, I know I'm not using it in the proper uh, proper way here with it like perched up for the camera, but even just like this, you know. It's just not doing it for me. Even with a MIDI controller, it is definitely not something that I enjoy and uh, I, I understand that it is something that, you know, you need to put time into, like any other instrument, if you want to become proficient at it, but uh, I'll say it again, I'm just not interested in becoming proficient at it. I'd rather use uh, physical instruments, I'd rather use hardware instruments, um, I'd rather use like an all-in-one groove box rather than trying to uh, MIDI a whole bunch of gear in and record stuff like that. That's a different video topic that I'm going to be getting into soon as well. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just not for me. And uh, this is starting to feel <laughs> pretty similar to my Circuit Tracks video, but it's the same kind of overarching principle. If it doesn't inspire me, then I'm not going to use it. 
And, uh, you know, when you're trying to figure out what inspires you, you do need to put in time with the device, like I've been saying. Um, but in the end, if it is something that is just not inspirational for you, then don't use it. And that's, that's quite all right. Uh, we are all different. Of course, we all have different likes and dislikes. Uh, that's something else I say many, many times on the channel. And uh, things that you enjoy to use are going to be completely different than what someone else enjoys to use. And sometimes you might even have a differing opinion than like, I don't know, your favorite YouTuber. Like, uh, I don't know, like what if you and Jeremy from Red Means Recording have different preferences? Uh, that's just okay. That's quite all right. That's perfectly normal. You can still enjoy his content and still enjoy making music the way that you want to. Uh, you know, they don't have to you don't have to be using the same devices. I've seen that argument sometimes, like, well, this person uses this device, so that's why I force myself to use it. Why? <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't, don't force yourself into uh, something that doesn't inspire you just because it happens to inspire someone else. So yeah, not really a normal video here, but I wanted to do something a little bit different, kind of break up the overhead desk feel. So uh, I decided to finally make this video addressing the uh, well, the growing comments about me using iPads, I'm just not inspired by them. I don't like them for music creation, and uh, yeah, I think that's just how it is. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you uh, found it informative. Let me know what device inspires you the most and what device inspires you the least amount in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy this one, be sure to leave a like on it. If not, you can always leave a dislike. That's quite all right. Doesn't hurt my feelings, just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. Thank you so very much for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.